Hey, happy Thursday, everybody. Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. Now, this storm is getting strong, even more powerful. We have a big threat for today, and it has grown into tomorrow as well, and more chances for tornadoes. It even stretched into towards Georgia and the Carolinas. I will give you the latest update in this video. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you click the bell so you get the updates. Now, I will go through this so we can see exactly what's going on. I want to show you what's going on in the atmosphere first. That way, you know what it is that I'm showing you here. Remember, time stamps are always in the description now we had three tornado reports for yesterday and we're talking about a very powerful tornado that went through so if you go to x go see all the posts on x because it was a nasty twister and that's just a little bit of what we're going to see today now this has upgraded again the slight risk is all the way into ohio and the enhanced section has grown as well your tornado threat for today big two percent all the way towards ohio including the five percent and you got the ten percent that has gotten bigger for oklahoma and and Arkansas. So, so far, here's your cities and states at threat for the tornado threat for today. Matter of fact, it just upgraded again. Another update. Look at this. Your tornadoes has grown. Your 5% has grown. Also, your significant severe now. Chances for EF2 or stronger tornadoes are possible for Oklahoma going into Arkansas. So here's your cities and states at risk for the tornado threat for today. And the update, that black line on top, is your significant severe that is expected the strong tornadoes for today. We also got a chance for winds. We had a lot of high winds yesterday. We got chances for a lot of high winds for today as well. You got the 5% and the 15%. Here's your cities and states at risk for the damage and winds for today. And the hail, the hail threat is still very large. All this black is at least two inches in diameter. Matter of fact, we had four inches yesterday in some areas and you got just 30%. Right where it is going to meet up in Arkansas is going to be your most roughest time on this severe weather. So here's your city states at risk for the hail threat for today. Significant severe is a white line on top. However, this red line right here, I believe you could see the largest hail for today. National Weather Service has scattered severe thunderstorms capable of tornadoes, large to very large hail, and strong to locally severe wind gusts. It will be possible from parts of the south central states into the Midwest. The most likely corridor for severe to occur is from southeast Oklahoma into northern Arkansas and southern Missouri during the afternoon and evening. Plus, it is expanded into Friday as that cold front pushes just lower and lower. And you do have a tornado threat. So far, you got two areas of 2%. So far, here's your cities and states at risk. This is subject to move a little bit. You also have chances for winds for Friday and hail. Even large hail in this black section right here. And that could grow from what I can see from the lightning strikes. So far, here's all your cities at risk in Texas. That is at risk for that damage and hail for Friday. Now, there's going to be two different setups that you're going to see. First, you can see you have your dew points coming all day long in the 60s, all the way into Indiana, Western Ohio, as you go all through the evening. Then it lowers down. Then it lowers down to where it's really going to be a big setup pushing in right here for Arkansas, going into Missouri, and parts of Oklahoma. This is going to be your strongest setup, but you are going to have first this big setup going through Ohio Valley and Great Lakes. Then it's going to lower down towards the southern side. Then it's going to lower even more towards the Gulf Coast and a lot of it going for Texas. I will update you on the tornadoes towards the Carolinas for tomorrow. I think that is going to move. Now, not only your dew points, that's going to put the particulates in the atmosphere, really get things going for these storms. When you look at your lift, your instability in the atmosphere, you can see first you're going to get it going all day long. You're going to get that first grouping going towards Indiana, towards Ohio, all the way till noontime. But then the atmosphere refills right back immediately and fills the whole region again with all this lift, bringing it all the way into Indiana, into western Ohio with a lot of lift. Now, a lot of the lightning strikes, a lot of the strong storms are going to be on the southern side, but you're still going to have strong storms powering through. And once that lift comes back in the afternoon, it's going to bring the threat right back. So there is chances for tornadoes in this section that wasn't there before. Can we see better now with HRRR? Matter of fact, when you look right here, you can see that you start to get them cells. First, you get the MCS moving through the mesoscale, maybe some damage and winds. It's just a fancy word for a linear line of storms. And as that moves along, that is bringing all afternoon long. But then when your setup comes right back for this afternoon, then you get all these single cells, potential supercells pushing through, rotating around. 
and could bring chances for tornadoes. Maybe western Ohio, maybe through central Indiana. Didn't see this yesterday. Also central Illinois, all evening long while that pushes across. Then it's going to lower. Then your cape is going to lower, and everything is going to lower on your threat. You still going to have storms on the northern side. You still going to get some potential hail out of it. Mostly going to be a damage and wind threat after that. But you can see you get another potential MCS lining up right here for western Kentucky, going to western Tennessee, and going in through Arkansas. This is one o'clock in the morning. All this is going to suppress down and still bring you all these storms all evening long, all morning long, and bringing hail. Through that as well for northern Mississippi, northern Alabama, I will show you. But these storms also push further. After Ohio, it goes into Pennsylvania, it goes into New York. You don't have the severe threat on that. It's pretty much just going to be nuisance storms after that. Also, when it goes from western Kentucky, western Tennessee, into Arkansas, as you go into early in the morning, then it starts weakening down as it comes across, becomes regular thunderstorms. You don't need to worry about a severe weather threat. But look down here, you're starting to get some damage and wind still pushing through from Mississippi, Alabama starts breaking down as it goes through Georgia, but then you go through Friday and we got a severe weather threat kicking up again. Now this is going to change as it always does. I will update this again first thing in the morning because you can also see after it goes through Friday and all that pushes to the east, you build up more storms in Texas and Louisiana as we go through Friday. And we got our threats for tornadoes and large hail to come through that as well. So it is going to be nasty storms not only for today, also for tomorrow along the Gulf Coast. And when you look at your update, we have significant tornado primers. It factors in the best atmosphere to get a tornado. You can see as you go through the day, through the morning, then it follows all the way from Missouri and it goes all the way towards Ohio Valley and the Great Lakes. As you go to the afternoon, it follows that group of thunderstorms that is coming right back. All these supercells that are passing through while you're getting your lift right back again. Bring your chances for tornadoes for this evening. Please be aware of this. This is a growing threat that has just gotten really strong as we can see better for this morning. Showing you have that chance for that tornadoes. Plus, after that, it's going to push further to the south. It's going to push more into Arkansas as you go later tonight. Then further down the south into Texas as you go later for that. Even potentially overnight into northern Mississippi as well but very strong for Arkansas. Arkansas, you have some very strong dew points, very cold temperatures coming through, a big gradient. You're going to have the biggest storms, I do believe, the strongest. And then as you go overnight, look for Texas. You see it blows up all night long. This is going to bring a chance for tornadoes and chances for large hail as well. Showing in the latest run of draft felicity, chances for hail. It does go through northern Illinois, central, even southern Illinois, Pretty strong chances for hail. Goes through Indiana, strong chances for hail. Even through Ohio, mostly central and western. Also Missouri, chances for hail. Arkansas, chances for hail. Oklahoma, your best chances as it comes in with your very strong dew points. But look at it once you go over midnight, overnight, then we get it again for tomorrow. We get chances for hail to go through Mississippi, through Alabama, even along the coast for Louisiana and Mississippi. And we got it for Texas. Large hail potential and southern Texas. Look at that. The worst chances. Very large hail coming down, potentially even that gorilla hail. Matter of fact, when you look at what National Weather Service has now for hail, and this will be upgraded. Look what CSU has. They show it will be upgraded again. A bigger chance for hail for Oklahoma, northern Arkansas, going through Missouri and western Illinois. Please keep that in mind. CSU is pretty accurate. But for today, you can see these storms are bringing 40, 50, even 60 miles per hour wind gusts all the way till 10 o'clock tonight, all the way through Indiana, through Ohio, 40, 50, and 60 miles per hour wind gusts. Overnight, coming back again for Texas, New Mexico, even for Louisiana. Look at this, 40, 50, and 60 miles per hour wind gusts. Then we got our system coming in from Canada with that cold blast, bringing the 40 and maybe the 50 miles per hour wind gusts. A lot of cold chills with that as well. So let's take a look and see what the models are hinting at with these storms. Remember, the time and date is up here on the top left. That is in central time. So as we go through early this morning, we got these storms that's going to brew by. This is going to be maybe some damage and winds in nature and bringing some chances for some hail with that. You can see you get a little MCS right there a group of storms bringing through. So that could bring some damage and winds as that pushes through. But once you go through the afternoon, 
the models are really hinting that there's going to be a lot of nasty storms. Now, once you go to four or five o'clock, they're really hinting at a lot of nasty hail cores that is passing by. I will go further south in just a second. Got a bunch of areas really to show as you go all the way to six and seven o'clock. These are the cells that I was telling you that could easily fire up something. You do get chances for hail in those as well. They're not as strong as what's going to be southern in the U.S., but it is going to be some strong cells passing through all the way to nine o'clock. So you got chances for hail in those cells all the way towards Columbus. Just be aware of that. Chances for hail, damage and winds, and chances for tornadoes. Look at these cells. This really strengthened up. This is at 10 o'clock going through Illinois as well. A lot of strong cells. 11 o'clock, then it weakens down around 12 because you lose all that instability. Now, on the southern half, the southern half is going to start a little bit later. It's going to affect Arkansas first, then it's going to go even lower. But you do get some nasty little cells that starts passing through Oklahoma immediately for this afternoon. So far, that's shown a chance for very large hail right there as you go through 1 p.m. If that shows true, this is just what the models are hinting at. And I've seen it right many times. Just be aware of that. As you go through 4 o'clock in the afternoon, still going through Oklahoma with chances for hail. Then it goes through Arkansas and southern Missouri again. As you go through 6 p.m., then it keeps flaring up. Look at these line of storms with the hail cores all the way from Texas, Arkansas, into Illinois, Indiana, Ohio. Big line all the way at 9 o'clock. 9 o'clock is going to be a big event statewide, multiple states. Look at all these hail cores. Look at all these hail cores coming through. This is all the way from 10 and 11 o'clock. Still pushing through. 12 o'clock, you still got this hail course pushing through. This is going to be a loud night for a lot of people. Early in the morning, 3 o'clock in the morning, you still got hail course going through a little bit of Tennessee, northern Mississippi, and some more going through southern Arkansas. Then for tomorrow morning, it flares up again. Maybe some damage and winds right there. See how that's bowing out in that. Very strong storms all night long, all the way into the early morning hours, showing hail is going to be a big factor. And look for tomorrow. This is where it really brews up for Texas as well. That goes through DFW by tomorrow morning. But then tomorrow afternoon, it flares up across the south, but it really flares up for southern Texas. We can't see too much of it, but you can see it really starts flaring back up for southern Texas for tomorrow. So we got to watch out for that as well. I hope this has helped y'all. Hope you have a very safe evening. Everybody It's going to be a rough night. I do wish best for every single one of y'all real quick. Psalm 18 verse two, the Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer, my God, my strength in whom I will trust my buckler and the horn of my salvation and my high tower. Amen. He will keep you safe. Stay calm. Pay attention to the live streamers. There's going to be people streaming tonight. Pay attention to them. They're there to keep you safe. And I do wish the best for every single one of y'all. And remember, above all, all glory goes to God, our Father in heaven, Yahweh. And I hope he keeps you safe, your family safe, your neighbors safe, everyone that you touch. In Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Be safe, everybody. God bless you.